All right, welcome back today. Let's talk Raptorium again. The lovely Raptorium. Yeah, so I have been mining several different pools for Raptorium. I started out, as you see here, the first one with Flock Pool. Using my CPU rigs, I have about six, I think, running on this thing, or eight, eight. I got eight, sorry. Running on Flock Pool. Then watching other YouTubers, I said, all right, let's, let's get off the main one and spread the wealth, right, to some of the other pools out there. I moved down to O11 data. It had a uh, smaller fee. I, no, I think it was 1% fee. You can see right here, 1% for a flock pool. Then I switched over. I did some Monera Ocean, and then I did Supernova for a for a few weeks, maybe a, maybe three weeks, and that is a 0.5% pool fee. I did this um, Minifacil one. I think that's how you say it, number five. I did that for a couple days, probably back in uh, late January, and now I've gone back to it. And the reason is it has kind of gone higher in the list, and it has a 0% pull fee, and that attracted me. And I said, it's easy enough to switch, easy enough to switch my uh, XM rig code to point to uh, my XM rig miner to point to the Metaphysial mining pool. So I did that. And uh, ever since then, it's been about two weeks, I've been really pleasantly surprised with this mining pool. Uh, you know, the 0% is awesome. Pool fee, that's a great incentive. As well as just setting it up was pretty easy. So let's look through it here. Number five, Metaphysial, 8.52. And let's see, what are we doing here? Last two hours. Two hours ago, we found the last found set of blocks, and we are looking good. So let's click on this. If you guys have not been here, this is miningpoolstats.stream, and all you got to do is put in your coin in the upper left here, and it's, in this case, it's Raptorium, but you can type it in up here in the search box, and it'll show you all the available pools. Cool, right? And then all you do is come down to Metaphysio, click on it, kablammo, come on. Big money, big money. Oh, it was a little slow today. Then this tells you how to set it up. Not hard at all, right? Uh, first time through, you can just put your stuff in here and it sets you up. You cut and paste and put that in your your uh, bat file for your miner. I mine using Windows 10. I don't use a mining tool like Hive OS or NiceHash or uh, is it Awesome Miner? I can't remember the other one. So I do it all by hand because I like to know what's going on. It helps me learn. Again, I'm a noob to this sort of, yeah, I'm a noob. I'm still learning. I don't know half this crap, but every day I learn more and I learn what not to do and how to maybe try things and do better. And in this case, it paid off because ready, let's see, where are we? Uh, Raptorium. Bum, 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 bum. So this is the Raptorium Minifacil mining pool. And it's, uh, it's not, I like this look and feel. It's a little engineering, but it gives you everything. It gives you all the information you need. Shows your uh, total pending balance, your immature, your confirmed. Uh, your unpaid is 23 for me, total paid to date, and total earned. So I like that. Right off the top, it tells you what you're at, what's going on, blah, 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 right? And over here on the right, tells you what coin you're doing. I haven't done auto exchange. Uh, what port I'm using, and let's see uh, the pull hash rate and network hash rate and all that stuff, right? Lots of good information. And it kind of gives you here a nice little last five earnings on my uh, rig. So here we go. That's kind of cool, 11, 11. On average, it's been 11. It's pretty interesting. Uh, it shows you when it's cleared, it's confirmed. Very useful dashboard, much better than the old 11 data one. And... Uh, I think the next best one may be flock pool, but again, that's a heavy, heavily used mining pool. So here's my charts, my uh, last 24 hour balance, and then here's my workers, and I have eight running various ones. You can see my hash rates. All right, all well and good, and you can, like I said, you can see my payouts. So let's go over to my wallet. This is the Raptorium Core wallet, and it kind of shows you. I had to get my paper, sorry. Had to sh kind of shows you my transactions. What I do is I get it here first. 
I was mining right to the uh, inode Z smart node holding address, but I wasn't sure how I could track that going from the mining pool payout to the inode Z holding wallet. I couldn't see anything on their site that tracked only um, track the transactions into the holding wallet. I see where it tracks your payouts, your payments, your rewards, but I couldn't see the deposits coming in. So that kind of was a logistic headache if I have to track all this stuff with all the deposits for reporting purposes. I didn't want to deal with it. So I go right to this Raptorium Core wallet. And what you see over here is all my deposits. I set up a special receiving address for this pool. So each mining pool, I set up its own wallet address. So then I can easily track which ones, which pool is going to which wallet and just how much I'm getting from the pools. But as of right now, every rig I have is on the Minificeal mining pool. And I did some numbers, I ran through. I'm getting some decent Raptorium right now. And maybe it's because of low fee, 0%, or I'm just doing really well with my setup. I have no idea. When I was on Supernova, I was getting approximately 120 to 140 Raptorium a day. Not super great, but again, I have eight rigs on it. And the most powerful ones are the four Ryzen 9 3900Xs. The rest are Ryzen 5s and Ryzen 3. So I'm not a super powerhouse by any means. But uh, it is something. I'm just trying to build up my stack of Raptorium, right? Fill the bag up. So looking at the numbers now, going from 120 to 140 on average with uh, Supernova, I switched over to Minificeal, and um, yesterday's full day's deposits came to like 230 Raptorium. So way up from the average I was getting on Supernova. And to date which is uh, six hours left to go in this day, I have received 189, so I'm on track to get above 200 again two days in a row. So things are looking a lot better on this pool for me, and it's amazing. You just gotta go try new things, folks. Go try new pools, it's not gonna really hurt you. You can say, oh geez, yeah, flock pool's number one, but I'm not getting as many coins per day over a week as if I went to this Seal or other pool. You just got to try. Uh, you can listen to other people and just go with that. That's fine. But sometimes it's just worth worth it to take the extra effort and just change your mining pools and see what happens. Uh, can't hurt, right? And if you have the time, if you don't, I get it. You can just go set it in HiveOS or NiceHash and, and be done with it. Me, I have to go edit each rig, each file in the XM rig CPU miner and change uh, or make a bat file for this uh, mining pool. And once you do that, then you start building up different mining pools, bat files, and you can always switch if you need to. Switch back to Supernova, switch to uh, maybe a flock pool, but that would probably be using the CPU miner. So here we go. That's what I wanted to show you. Switching pools sometimes does pay off. And uh, right now, I'm just going to keep accumulating in my wallet right now. There we go. So that's not bad. Success 1700. And uh, I'm going to move this up to my inode Z smart node holding address. And then that's going to get added to a smart node. I think on Sunday, I can't remember. They do it twice a week, I thought. I think, I can't remember. Uh, then it gets added and I start earning rewards. And I have that compounded. And then that gets me to buy more Raptorium. It just keeps snowballing. And that's my plan with this. So yeah, big win switching to this Metaphysial. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I'm sorry, I'm butchering it. Uh, mining pool and uh, it definitely has paid off loving it so I think that's all I wanted to show you let's take a look at the market oh what are we at 23 February 2022 not looking awesome but it is what it is right I hold I stack coins and I hold I don't really sell because I learned from others back in 2016 2017 they sold they sold what they were mining, and then they kind of wish they would have held, because right now they'd be up really good on Ethereum and others. So you just don't know. I don't know. I like holding, but then when things look get, look good, when things are looking good and you're up, it does not hurt to take profits. Do not be afraid to take profits. And on an equity, I had Tesla, and I was up really good, and it kind of went back down, but then I was up. And I realized, all right, I'm going to take out my initial cost basis I put into this and just play with the house's money. 
the pro right the gain and uh that worked out really well so then i felt better i got my original investment out but then i was just letting the uh the uh, equity gain the uh I, I made on that stock to date i just left that in there and it just kept making money and then now with the way the markets are going and all the political crap i pulled that out uh i'm glad i did because tesla's dropping it like everything else but again it doesn't hurt to take profits and that was a great reason too i took my money out my cost it made i let the, the profit ride that made money it kept growing and growing and then i finally just dumped all that and i was way up way up yet it was well worth it and so i'm learning you can hold and hold and hold, but sometimes it is not bad to take some profits and uh, just put it in USDC, stablecoin or something, and or 9% in Voyager if you want. Uh, not bad. That's a good tactic, I think. Anyway, of course, not financial advice. This is just for entertainment. I don't want anybody taking my advice on any of this crap. This is just me rambling, the, the ramblings of a lunatic. All right. So we're 11 minutes. Right, let's wrap this up. Thanks for watching. Let me know which mining pools you guys are doing with Raptorium and how many coins you're going to collect in Raptorium before you switch to another coin, or just keep mining Raptorium. I think that might be the up-and-comer. I have no idea, because nobody knows what's going to happen with crypto. Uh, but it's always good to talk to others and compare notes. All right, take care. I'm out. I will talk to you all later. Bum, bum, bum.